A my G! My G! I don't actually speak like that. I apologize. That was disgusting of me. Welcome back to another GDA Online video. And as you can see, we've got the Progen GP1. I think it was called something like that, is it? If it's not, I'm going to sound like a fucking prat. It is the Progen GP1. Look at me. I've, I've heard of it like twice and I fucking got the name right without even looking at the thing. I'm lying. I looked at the fucking thing like 50 times to make sure I was going to say it right. This thing looks pretty damn cool. Now, it's basically a McLaren F1. Let's let's be serious here. Let's be serious. It's beautiful. It's the first car I can actually say I know what this is. It does have hints of other vehicles. The, it's, it's, I can't say exactly what, but there's no doubt it's definitely based on the McLaren F1 is the main car. But again, it's based on the other GTA car, which is basically also McLaren F1, which I don't remember any other things being linked into. I don't I don't know what baby it is. It's, 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 GTA usually has this car, this car, this car, or this car, and this car, and then they make the baby, and then they go, oh, that's... That's what we'll, we'll call it Jeff. Now, unfortunately, this is not a Benny's car, which does mean we're hanging... We're going to have quite a, a, you know, a small few of upgrades. And I, I guess that it's fair. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't have a whole bulk of upgrades. And I believe this is the only car they've added thus far, which probably means... Which probably means the other cars, um, if there are any, again, they might be unlocked, unlockable in the game, that kind of thing. I don't know personally just yet. I believe they'll be unlocked later down the line. So, you know, next week, next Tuesday, we'll have another car, something like that. That's usually what Rockstar do. They have a few cars hidden in there that are up, they'll roll out. And there's not bad GTA YouTubers that fucking go to the files and get it early. Even though I, I would do that, but... I'm lazy, basically. Let's go into the customs. Da, 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 da. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? You all say that. <laughs> you all say it. Okay, repair the vehicle. Let's see. My Jeep, my character looks similar to me. He doesn't. He looks nothing like me. Let's get into it. We've got armor, brakes, bumpers, front bumpers. Let's see. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. We've got quite a few options here. We're going We're going mid that club. Need for Speed Underground 2 style with these. Let's go with, the, obviously, the GT bumper. I just forgot my lights fucking died. I need, I need to change the battery on it. Where's my other light? That's a good question. I actually haven't had to buy GTA money because I've been doing the actual online events recently, with, which give you a lot more money. Uh, it's the event where it's the arena, and that's been double XP for a while, double money. It's so much freaking fun. I gotta tell you, I'm probably gonna do videos on it at some point with an event or streams or something because having you guys in it, that's the shittest diffuser I've ever fucking seen in my life. Rockstar Games, that's the, one of the most disgusting ones you've actually ever done. We've got striped, we've got carbon. We're gonna go carbon. Carbon's the better option, you baboons. Then, performance upgrades. Now, we're probably going to have to jump and actually spend some money on uh, on these. I'm going to get the discounted right now, so it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's have a look-see at the engine covers. Now, personally, I would love to have a full window screen option, which is almost that. It's almost pretty much there. But honestly, it doesn't look that great. I take it back. <laughs> um, I do quite like the fact that that's the color of the car, but at the same time, it would be awesome to have the little events going on here. So I'm going to go with the Lord of Vents going on here. Exhaust. This is what we need. Okay. Now, this is mostly to... Oh, my God. We got the quad LM exhaust. I don't know what LM means. Let's just carry on going through. I know an LM kit. We did an LM car in Forza. All right. Le Mans. Le Mans. Le Mans. I love Le Mans. <laughs> carry on going through the exhaust. Now, I'm hoping that... there's Because there's these exhausts here, but there's still the holes there. I hope that the exhaust also fill those... <gasps> oh! Yes! Yes, my G. Now, uh, which ones do we go with? Which ones do we go with? Oh, my God. We've got the quad F offset ones. And we've got the quad offset alt exhaust. So, that goes with the color of the car. That doesn't. What's those? Ones? I prefer the big ones there. The same. No. More exhaust is better. Oh, my God. Can't we have it, like, there at the top grill, the middle grill, and the bottom grill? That would be brilliant. You know what? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Like we'll go with that option right the there. We're, very, we're getting poorer and poorer. We've got some hood options, but they're not too expensive anyway. Uh, where do I want the, the, the pin, the latches? Uh, let's do the front ones. Headlight covers. Oh, yes. I love headlight covers. They make the car instantly like me. That makes it, like, chill. It's like, yo, dude. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> and then we got the carbon ones, which really don't like, just negate the effect. And then we just got like a blind bastard over here, which I think looks pretty fucking sick, actually. Then we got some like alien looking bastard. And we got a carbon one as well. I quite like that. I quite like it a bit. I do like it without, though. Without looks pretty dope, but I don't know. I think, I think full carbon looks pretty, pretty cool as well. Hood options. Oh, we got the full actually replacing the hood now. So we can go carbon hood if we want to. Carbon hood might be pretty cool since the fact that we've got... Carbon lights, my G. Though, not having one would also be pretty cool. Just having kind of... Oh, no, that looks so cool. 
That looks really cool. I don't know about you. We're going with the carbon hood. I don't give a damn. I don't give a goddamn. Lights, I don't give a damn. I don't give a goddamn. Lights. Let's have a see. No, sorry, mirrors. This is basically... Those are stock. Carbon tinted. They don't look like they change whatsoever. Uh, we can square them off as well. I think squaring them off makes them look more, much more race car. I don't know why. Because round should be more aer aerodynamic, right? Because it has more weight. Then again, more ways for the air to travel. I don't know. Uh, plates. I'm going to make it... No, I meant black knobhead. Black knobhead. <laughs> oh my god, we can change the rear cover as well. There's actually quite a few options in this car. I take it back. They are very minimalistic, but it's a race car. I don't give a damn. Having r many race car options like this. If all cars had upgrades like this, as well as their normal ones, I wouldn't be complaining, you know? We'll get the glimpse cover, the Le, Le Mans one. The respray, I kind of like the color, but we are going to change it eventually. Skirts. We're going to have those skirts on. Spoilers! Oh my god, we got like an actual, like, is it actually an aero wing? I don't know. Is it, is it an active aero wing? I don't think I saw it move. If it is an active aero wing, that's pretty cool. I, like, I wish we could actually change the setting while driving for the active aero wing. That would be pretty damn cool. Oh, we get the wing and the, the change. Of, are you kidding me? That's the biggest wang you've got. This thing right here, the GT wing. I'm, d I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. I'm genuinely disgusted. What the fuck is that? Yes, I've run out of money. Would you like to visit the PlayStation store? <laughs> oh, of course, of course, of course. All right, well, I'll be back. I told you the green looks dope. The green looks dopey dope on dope. Now I need to buy some money. I'm, so I'm sorry, bank account. I'm so sorry. I didn't normally buy shark cars, but ever since I've, I've been doing videos on it all the bloody time, I'm like, well, I kind of need to, don't I? We're back with some more pennies. We're just going to throw in all the performance upgrades, and that's pretty much all we've got to do. We've got the wheels. Normally, with cars like this, I'll stay with stock wheels, but I want to change the color. I want to make it like the one on the picture that Rockstar made. So let's literally go with the respray uh, trim color. Oh my god, we can do the trim color. I didn't even realize. I completely skipped that. I apologize. I apologize. We'll do that afterwards. Because what we're going to do is change the color to a metal, a metal gold. Now, I think pure gold is what they did on the picture. Uh, brushed gold, I don't like as much, I don't think. Uh, then again, I think it might be brushed gold. I don't know what one it is, honestly. I fucking don't know. I do hate how this gold looks a bit more bronze, um, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, what we're going to do is go with the... Uh, the uh, I'm going to go with the brushed gold. It's very much unlike me. And I quite like that. Can we put a pearlescent on this as well? No, we can't. Secondary color. Let's see. What does the secondary color do? Oh, the secondary color is just like the little accents at the front. So we could also go brush gold on those, which would be pretty nice. But I think that's a bit much to do. Um, let's have a look at chrome. I just need I need to color. I need to set it a color so I can actually see what it's actually doing. So if I go with a, a red, a pink. So it's doing the little side skirt accents, the, the front. And that's pretty much it. I don't think it's doing anything at the back. It's doing the, like the engine. Like, I don't even know what it is. It's not the end. It's for the suspension, I think. Also has lines down the back there. So I literally think what we're going to do is just make it black. I think this bleached brown or something similar to it would be perfect because of the fact we're going with gold. That's very, very, very close. Or even the cream. The cream, I think, is a bit too light. So if we go with the... Let's go with the bleached brown. And I think we're pretty much done here. Look at the wheels. We need to change the wheels. But black is the easy option. So we're going to go with bronze tires, tire design, custom tires, tire enhancement, bulletproof tires. We're on GTI online. Those what last five fucking seconds. And with that, friends, we are pretty much done. Except the window tint. I put one level tint on because if I go full tint, you can't fucking see. We're done. Look at this pants knobhead. This pants knobhead with his fucking stupid car. The lights don't even work on it because he's covered them up. Well, let's have a look, see at this thing. See how it drives. Now, I remember when I drove it a second ago, it was Mr. Grippy McGrip. And again, it just sounds like a race car buzzing off. It's just made it louder. And what has on the choo choo noise and the exhausts? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I already broke it. For God's sake. I have found the perfect road for this car. It's literally the best when you full throttle it and go full out through corners like this. It's honestly a dream to drive. If there was no traffic, it would be so much smoother, but you could just let off and literally it's not gonna slip anywhere when you full lock this thing. This, my friends, is a proper race car. This really, really is. Look at that, almost full throttle, pretty much through that whole corner there. Just panicked because of the traffic. Now there are some corners that it's just gonna, it's just gonna understeer, but it's a race car. So sometimes, it, you know, you have to let off a little bit. Don't just try and power through the corners. Let's just say this isn't going to be one of the top drift cars unless you do mods to it. This thing is going to be Mr. Grippy McGrip. This is like the grip setting on Need for Speed and how it should have been. 
Like, this is how the extreme grip should have been. On the actual yeah. amount of how much you can actually turn, this would have been perfect for Need for Speed, and where if I break, I can turn a hell of a lot more. If I don't, then I'm probably going to end up in a wall like I did on Need for Speed. But I feel so powerful driving this thing. It feels freaking amazing. I just realized it was based on the McLaren F1, but I'm not in the center anymore. That was one of the coolest things about the McLaren F1. Why would you take that from me, you fucking knob? Then again, in, in racing, I guess it would be cool to actually have someone next to you telling you that you're about to hit a wall and die. Because I don't have that at the moment. I need some friends. <laughs> but no, this is a beautiful masterpiece of a car, Rockstar. I'm very happy with this car. Again, I'm not too happy with the wing. I wish there was a bigger wing. I don't know exactly what the hell you were thinking. Why you thought that was right, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit disgusted here. I want like something that's big and stupid that doesn't make sense with the car whatsoever. That's just the type of person I am. Some people might not like that. Well, that's why options are a good thing. Fuck you, cool. But let me know what you think of this car down below in the comments. Again, a lot of you would have probably already built this car. I'm very happy I went with the gold. The gold looks fantastic. And I really want to set up a race on this road now just for this car because... It, it really suits this road right here. It's at its best when you basically push it to its limits or push yourself to your limits. And you tr you push yourself a little bit more just to see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then that's okay as well. And traffic isn't on. I'm hoping there actually are some more cars. You guys will let me know down in the comments. There are some new events, though, that I'm going to play with the knobheads. No doubt about that. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, my friends, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in another GDA Online video probably very soon. So subscribe. Thanks. Okay.